Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. <clears throat> Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, most gracious and eternal Father. My God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer. We come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. As you are joining us on YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, I'm just looking for three, three persons, just three, who love the Lord to share with additional three. If you want to go beyond that number, the sign with me. Because sometimes we say share. There are folks who do not share, but there are folks who will share. It's like when you share, it's like you're inviting somebody to church. You're inviting them to church. And by doing so, you are giving that person the opportunity to hear the word of God. You are giving somebody the opportunity to hear the word of God. So the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. So I'm looking for free, wonderful people. And I know some people, again, you know, when they see all the, the video keeps coming to their inbox, they're like, oh, but you never know. You cannot tell. That those videos that I keep coming in your inbox, one day by listening to a transformation will take place. Healing will take place or deliverance will take place. So can I find some wonderful people who are waiting to share, to give someone the opportunity to hear the word of God. How many of you are going to share? If you're sharing with somebody, tagging them, We've come to the end of our free day. Today is the last day. I know it's been a tough one for some of you. <laughs> I know it, is, it's, it's, it hasn't been easy for three days. Man, I, I, I come to a place that I can, I can jump without feeling anything. The body is so light. <laughs> the body is so light. I was jumping around today like, oh my God. And then we're getting ready for something big. So it's a good exercise. Find three persons. You can find seven for the next few minutes. Just go ahead. Find some of your friends. Tag with them. You know, tag them in. So that they too can have the opportunity to hear the word of God. If you're part of a group, you can go ahead and share in that group. It has been a long journey, but a very short one. Uh, hallelujah. A long journey, but a very short one. We're still play, praying to God, concentrating on the 21 days. I, I got a specific instruction on something, so we're going to pray about that. And I do everything I do here is by the leading of the Holy Spirit. I know some of you are busy looking for us this morning. It's faster coming on. But those who were on last night will tell you, or this morning, I came on surprisingly to everybody, 12 a.m. I was up until at least 1.45 before we left. And, I mean, we decided to shut down the prayer. It was awesome. It was power packed. People thought it was pre-recorded until they saw me on camera. It was not a pre-recorded program. It was something like I was seeing. 
I lie down. I was on the decks that holds the computer and all the things. I was just praying. And all of a sudden, I heard the Holy Spirit say, you got to get up because I came to spend some time here praying. So I was on the decks praying, praying, praying. And all of a sudden, I got an instruction to wake up to pray. Hallelujah. How many of you are sharing with your friends and family members? It's going to be a long shot today. I'm here for a little bit longer time. Uh, there was a reason why we couldn't come on this morning. Because Pastor needed to, after those double prayer section, we needed to regroup, recuperate, to come back vigorously with the energy to, to move. We're still waiting for more people to join us. I don't want folks to miss this section. I don't want for a lot of folks to miss. Well, if you miss, you can go back to YouTube and watch. If you miss, you can go to Facebook and watch. If you're on Periscope and on, are you following us on our Twitter page, it's at Cummins Giraud Cummins. That's at Cummins, uh, at Giraud Cummins one on Twitter. At Cummins Giraud one at Twitter. Okay. So we don't want some of you to miss this because after this session, we're not coming on tonight and we're not coming on tomorrow night or in the morning. The next time I come on here, and when you see me, it will be all about praising God and telling him thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm still waiting for more people to join in here. So tie your friends, give them the opportunity to be a part, to be a part. Amen. Hallelujah. What do I have to give my God? What do I have to give my God? What do I have to give my God? I would sing songs to praise his name. Hmm. What do I have to give my God, Jesus? What do I have to give my God? What do I have to give my God? I would sing songs to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Most gracious and eternal Father. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. My God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer, we thank you. We praise your holy name. We magnify thy name. We sing praises unto you. Who is like unto thee. Among the other gods. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you wonderful King of Kings. Abba Father. We say thank you. Thank you. Yes Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bible says, while man slept, the enemy saw tears. What? While man slept, the enemy was busy. And so this morning about 11 something, almost a minute after 12, Okay, we started praying by 12. My friends and myself were praying by 12. We started this prayer section by 12. One person praying. After they got through, all of a sudden, I was just tired and I got up. And I said, listen, we're going somewhere. I prayed that people went to sleep. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> people went to sleep. And I was just laughing. Then I walk in here. I said, well, you know, 
let me enjoy myself in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Man, we pray that you be at the front of my voice. Was gone to sleep. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I was. I was just like, "Oh, <laughs> you gone!" <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to tag your friends and your family members. Just tag them. Tag them. Tag them. There is nothing too hard for God. Don't don't miss this section. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, wonderful King of Kings. Father, we decree and declare this atmosphere charge. We plead the blood of Jesus over this atmosphere. We come against anything that is not of God, any spirit that is not of God, any evil camera, evil cell phone, demonic monitor, demonic device. We come against it in the name of Jesus. May it lose signal right now in the name of Jesus. May it lose signal right now in the name of Jesus. May it lose signal right now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare this atmosphere charge in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare this atmosphere charge. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We sanctify and purify this place with the blood of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare this atmosphere dangerous in the eyes of the enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare this atmosphere dangerous in the eyes of the enemies. We decree and declare this atmosphere dangerous as we climax, as we climax three days of prayer and fasting. We believe that the waters have been troubled. We believe that God had troubled the waters in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer, we decreed and declared our homes fortified with the blood of Jesus. We decreed and declared the four corners of our homes fortified with the blood of Jesus. We decree and declare this afternoon, this morning, this evening, our children covered. Hallelujah. Now, here is one prayer point that I want all of us to raise and pray. You saw those of you in different parts of the world, those of us here in America, about three days, two days ago, the Lord just, I was praying and then all of a sudden, I was instructed to come back on, to ask the people of America to pray, to ask the people of America to pray because I saw people running, helter scatter, rushing in the store. Yesterday, I got a call that a little boy walked in the school and killed 18 Children, 18, 18, and kill, I think, two or three adults, 18. What is unfolding? The dispensation of time we live in, evil is on an increase. Evil. Our kids go to school, they are no longer safe. Our children get on the bus, we don't know who's on the bus what is the motive? What is the intent of the, you know, the intention of the enemy? And so people, we got to pray. We got to pray. Those of us who are taking this thing for joke, you got to pray. Even if you go to work, you must watch your surrounding. The enemy is sowing a sea while men are sleeping. Just the other day, President Biden went to that supermarket to sympathize. I mean, the people, the victims, the family, to sympathize with them. While we are still focusing on people are still grieving on that one, another thing should happen again. Now, while the world is still looking at what happened in Texas, the enemy is planning something else. There's something that is creeping gradually to this country. When I said it, People are looking at me. They think I'm one prophet of doom. All we say prophetically, it has to do with something that is a disaster. We cannot say anything about something good coming. Good things coming, but the enemies want to project the negative, the evil. 
He killed 18 children. I'm a father of two. Hearing that kind of news, our kids get on the bus, most especially during the winter, the kids get on the bus to go to school. They go to school that time of the morning, early morning they go. And for the parents, in the next, their, exp their expectation was their sons and daughters will come home only to receive a call that this boy went in the school and killed everybody and killed 18 kids. I learned, I was reading the story that he also killed his grandmother. Evil, 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 evil. While man slept, the enemy saw tears. Those of us who are parents, even if you are an, an adult, you're going to places now, going to shopping more than things. You have to be like this. Got to be watching the next person standing by you because people are getting crazy. The enemy is speaking to their mind, speaking to the mind of children. People are sowing a seed of evil in their mind. Churches now will no longer save. A man sleeping. That's what happened when you legislate certain things. I don't know the people who are advocating for this gun right in this country. I don't know if they're suffering from insanity. Look what is happening. I think they are suffering from insanity. Because the enemy is doing the thing over and over repeatedly. And some of them are in the street. Yes, must legislate this. And their people are dying. Some of us have been in a country, in a nation, where guns for 14 years, all I knew was the son of AK-47. And you wake up in the morning, to such a terrible news. While the world is looking at Ukraine and Russia, I keep telling you people, while the world is busy looking at Ukraine and Russia, the enemy is planning something that will shake and rock the nation. That's his plan. He's craving for blood. And people are sitting. Let us pray for our children. If you know any mother or father, tag them in this video. Because people are busy enjoying themselves. This thing is creeping. It's creeping gradually. It was a shopping, a supermarket, now a school. Who knows what next? Who knows? That's what the Lord told me. And he said, the U.S. election, the next election in this country will be a tough one. It's going to be a tough election. The reason being is that some people who love evil want to perpetuate themselves, want to make a major comeback. You mark my word, you say Prophet Come said the, the next election in this country will be a tough one. Tough. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. If you know a mother, a father, tag them in this video. Tag them. We got to pray for our children. It's a matter of mass, it's compulsory. Listen, it is a matter of mass. Imagine we have not gone to do the 21 days for our family, the thing started. I said, I don't know what is coming, but I see trouble. When I was saying it, I was seeing something, but I can't tell when, how, and I was still praying to God. Pray for your children. Pray for yourself. Ask God to protect you. As you go to work. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy so tears. While we are busy sleeping, the enemy is sowing a seed of discord, a seed of chaos, a seed of conflict, a seed of destruction.
not one nation all around. Pray. Listen, no amount of education can cut this one. No amount of security strategy will cut this one. It will take prayer for us to pray for those who go to sit down to find a strategic plan security wise to on earth what the enemy is planning in this country and nations around the world. Pray. The days and time we live in evil is on an increase. The psalmist said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Though our kids are going out there, they're going to school. Though your husband or your wife or your family are going out there, they're going to school. They're going to work. They're going to the shopping mall. They're going to the supermarket. They're going to places. They're driving from state to state. They're traveling on land, sea. And in the air, praying. Say, God, protect my family. Protect my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. People, listen to this. The enemy is so crafty to the extent that some people are getting so hateful for nothing. Small boy like that took 18 other kids' lives. 18. He's not suffering from, look, sometimes, let me say this. Let me, let me make some, some sense in this thing here. I know sometimes the people will say, oh, the person having a mental breakdown, they're suffering, they got some mental issue. That thing is, it, we got to come to a place now we need to say, that's a blinking lie. Demons are at work. Demons are at work. Creep. You know, you know, creeping into their mind, speaking. Commit this. Commit this. We pray today in the name of Jesus. Our, our children, our children will not be a victim, Father. We cover the children with the blood of Jesus. We cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Father, protect our sons and daughters. In school, protect them. Protect the teachers. We pray for the children. We pray for the kids. Right now in school, protect them. Father, send your angels on assignment to protect our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, protect our children. We go to the basketball gym. We go to places. Lord, protect our children. Protect our children. Protect our children. Protect our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, protect those at your places of work. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, cover them. The psalmist says, He that dwelled in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We covered our children. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. Father, build a protective ward, a protective shield around the children. I pray for the kids in school. I cover them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we reject the plans of the enemies to continue to go to shopping malls, supermarket, schools, and churches to shoot people, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, be our security. The psalmist said, accept the law, bill. He that bill it, bill it in vain. Accept the law, watch over the city. The watchmen that watch, but watch in vain. Mm. Build a, a war. Parents, pray for your children. Pray. Not only in America, not in, in Europe, not only in Australia, or the Antarctica, or the Pacific, or the islands, in Africa as well. Pray for your children. Pray, pray. Pray like you mean it. Pray for your children. Hallelujah. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. That when they go to school, angels must guard them. Mm. We reject bad news in the name of Jesus. Hey, we reject it. 
in the name of Jesus. Take your friends. Take them. Say, prophet, come and say, come on. I know some of you are at work, but if you can squeeze some time to share, to give somebody an opportunity to listen so that they can pray. That mother will pray for her son. That father will pray for his daughter. That auntie will pray for her nephew and nieces in the mighty name of Jesus. That grandmother will pray for her grandchildren and great-grand in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover the children. We cover our children. We cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover them. We cover the children. We pray for the children. We pray for the children all around the world. I use my children as a point of contact to pray for the kids all around the world in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. Pray and pray, pray. Somebody pray. Say, I pray for my son. I pray for my daughter. We pray for our children. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our children. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I pray. I prayed. I pray for my children. Pray. Pray like you mean it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see the people that are praying for their children right now. Pray. Pray. Hmm. Pray. Pray like you mean it. Pray. Say, I'm praying for my son. I'm praying for my daughter. I'm standing in the gap. Pray for your children. Hmm. Name something that you think is too hard that God cannot do. Pray. Hallelujah. Pray. Pray for your children right now. Pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray. 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 Pray for your sons. Pray for your daughters. Pray. Father, we are standing in the gap for our children. We are standing in the gap for our family members as they go to school, church, basketball court, the gymnasium. Father, in the name of Jesus. Even as our kids walk in the street, guard them and protect them. On the bus, protect the children. On the bus, protect them. On their way to school, on their way back home, protect them. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray for our sons and daughters. We pray for the children all around the world. We pray for the children all around the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for the protection of God. For your children. Say, Lord, protect my children. Lord, protect my children. Lord, protect my children. On their way to school, back from school, even myself on my way to work from work. Oh, God, protect the children. Mm. Protect them from evil. Say, Lord, protect my children. Protect my children. Maybe you don't have kids of your own yet, but stand in the gap. Let's pray for the children. Let's pray for the children. We pray for the family, the, the grieving family, the bereaved family of those 18 kids and the others, those three idols that were killed, we pray for them, oh God. Console the family. Console the family. Console the family. Jesus, it is not easy. It is hard. Waiting for your children only to hear that they couldn't come home. They couldn't make it home. Hmm. Praying. We need God. Intervention. We pray for protection. Pray for God to protect your children. Pray for yourselves. I score. Say, Lord, protect me. 
in my going out and my coming in. Father, protect me. Protect me, Jesus. Watch over me. Watch over me. In the name of Jesus. It is painful to receive a call. And your child is involved into something. I've been there. There are times you want to jump over the fence. You want to get the perpetrator. You want to tear them apart. You're not suffering from insanity. I'm saying this. I know the medical people will, will put all the medical terminology together. But this is a demonic act that is taking place. It's evil. Witchcraft act. Yeah, the medical practitioners, sorry to say it, but putting some of these people on medication and stuff like that is not helping them because they come from there and they kill people. And they go back to this facility. And they're pumping them now. With drugs and all sort of things. And yet and still they're not changing. We need some prayer. Fire prayer in this nation. In our communities. We need some corporate prayer. To take it back to the enemies. And say. What a come. We need some serial legislators. To, to stand on them. To legislate law or some legislation to control guns in this nation. You know, Americans don't play with this thing. Some of us have been in a nation for 14 years. We know what it means to go through war. Maybe you people in this age and time have not seen it. That's why some of you can be jumping up with guns in your hand. When we call it in tip in Liberia, we call it go to. When rear fire open, some of you will run. I'm running to my main house. You will start running away. You'll drop it and run. But you're jumping in the sky. Yes, what about scary gun? And yet, was, look what is happening. Innocent children are now becoming the victims. Victims. Of this kind of evil act. It is sad. Pray for your children. Let us pray. Let us pray. Pray. Pray for the children, including yourselves. Remember some time back in Shalom, a young man walked in the church and gunned down people. And it was politicized all around here. America, be careful. Be careful. Be careful before you come to your doorstep. Be careful. America, be careful if we come to your doorstep, if we come to your backyard. Be careful. The enemy is craving for blood, craving for chaos. And they're showing the sun gradually. Showing the sun gradually. Prejudice is not a white man thing. It's not a black man thing. It's the devil's thing. We all are equally equal in the eyes of God. When God created man, he said, let us make man in our image and likeness. But for a certain group of people, they think they are more superior than another group. And their evil thought is not increasing every day. America, be careful. Something is creeping, and it's creeping in the dark. Gradually, it's coming to this nation. Something is creeping, it's coming to this nation. Some of us who find safe haven in this country and are preachers and people that love God, 
Yes, it is incumbent to pray upon us to pray for this nation. But it's also incumbent upon the people of this nation to wake up. Something is creeping. It's, a, it's like in the dark. And it's creeping gradually. Pray for your sons. Pray for your daughters. Pray. Just imagine. We haven't started the 21 days. And, and that was. It was clear. It was clear. The Lord said. Brought the people together. For them to pray. I haven't. We have not even done the flyer. Nothing. I just made the announcement. What are we going to start on the 7th? On the first, I really don't know because there was a prophetic word given to me today just this morning. That was the reason why I didn't come on. I had to stay and wait a little bit and pray. That's why you didn't see me come on 6 or 9 o'clock. I scheduled you to come on. It's no joke. It's no time to play. It's This is the time to be serious. And those of us who play, buckle up a little bit. The word is watching Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> North Korea president. I will leave that message for another day. I will tell you what will happen. Something will happen soon, but I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to give you the hint. Something will happen soon. <laughs> Pray. I might likely end the fast today soon because I'm here for the next one hour plus. Pray for your sons. Pray for your daughters. Pray. Father, destroy your plans. The evil plans. Destroy it. Let us pray. Let's take a few prayer points here to pray. How many of you are ready to pray tonight? Or this morning, this evening, this afternoon? How many of you are ready to pray and up? I hear praying for your sons and your daughters. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? I, I want to see, get some response from all of you that really want to pray. If you're not ready to pray, then we put the microphone down, we go, right? <laughs> we already pray for the children. Are you ready to pray? And should I put this mic down? Should I leave? I think I need to go. Okay, bye. We had a wonderful three days. Are you ready to pray? I want to see all those who really want to pray. I want to see the yes. The yes. Amen. The yes. The amen. The yes. Because we are in agreement. Bible says in Amos 3, 3, can two walk together except they agree. Are we in agreement? Are we in agreement? If we are, then those of you here share this because we're about to pray some prayer point. Let me say this. So aunties, uncles, and friends, they are going to run away. They, they're not going to call your name just now because they're going to get grievously vexed. But we ourselves are grievously vexed. Some exes will not pick up the phone to call you. Because they're going to get grievously vexed when they see you after today. So I'm waiting to see all the amens. And I'm waiting to see all the, yes, I'm ready to pray. I'm waiting for it. Mm. I say after today, some of them, 
Even the ones who come to monitor your page looking for news, they will be looking like this. They will be like Nagabonaza, bending down like this to see. Hmm? This is prophetic. I came prepared. That's what the psalmist say. Ye do I walk through the valley of shallow of death. I will fear no evil. Ye do I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no witch. Gossipers, liars, on the minor. Voodoo, juju. I fear not. Oh, I fear there's a God that I serve. Hmm. I can see your amen. Your amen like it's gone. It's spending time. Uh, amen, spending time. <sighs> Hallelujah. It's your amen, spending time. I said, after today's section, something will happen. Some of you will go to bed and see it. Some of you will dream about it. It's coming. There will be some folks when they see you, they think you have started using a new cream. But tell them you are using the Holy Ghost cream. You be cream of the blood of Jesus. Amen. I said some of them will be like the Philistines. They will be running away. You say, come. No, they running away. They can't stand it. Because our homes will be fortified. Our lives fortified with the blood of Jesus. The glory of God will rest upon us. We will rest upon our homes. Angels are on a summon. By ye akataya, let them see a I said, after today, they will be running. Even if they're thinking about coming in our dream, we release fire. We release fire. How many of you are in agreement with me? I said, we release fire. <laughs> we release fire. When they show up in your dream, in the morning, in the night, in the afternoon, hmm? release fire. Yeah. We release fire in their camp in the morning in the evening in the night. We release fire. There you go. That's what we'll do. Will release fire in their camps. Some of them are about to chile. They will run when they see you because we're releasing fire. Tonight, when they pick up, any hour they pick up, any minute they pick up, any second they pick up to come and perpetrate evil, will release fire in their camp. Say, I release fire in their camp. I release fire in their camp. Let them be consumed and burned today. Every evil altar that they have erected with my name, I shall climax three days of prayer and fasting. May God trouble those evil altars. Let it catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Let their evil altars catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their evil orders catch on fire. Their witchcraft orders catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it catch on fire. Pray somebody. Pray, 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 pray like you mean it. Let their evil orders catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their evil orders catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Pray somebody. Pray. So let their evil orders 
catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Let their altars catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, as I pray, let those evil altars catch on fire. Every voodoo, juju, voodoo, juju. Witchcraft plans, evil plans, evil communication, evil communication device, catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it catch on fire. Let it catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray like you mean it. Say, let it catch on fire. My God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer. Let their evil altars catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Let it catch on fire. Let it catch on fire. Let it burn right now. In the name of Jesus. Let their evil altars catch on fire. Let it burn right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say I release fire. Hmm. I release fire. <laughs> I release fire. Holy Ghost fire. I release fire in the name of Jesus. Say, I release fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their evil altars catch on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their evil altars catch on fire in the name of Jesus. Let it burn. Let it catch on fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer, let their altars catch on fire. Everywhere they gank up against you, we release fire in the name of Jesus. We release fire in the name of Jesus. We release fire. Holy Ghost fire. God said in his word in Jeremiah chapter 23, 29, he said, my words are like fire, declares the Lord. My words are like fire, declares the Lord. My words are like fire. My words are like hammer that break the rock into pieces. Today, as we climax three days of prayer and fasting, Father, let the word of God, which is my hammer, break, 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 break into pieces. Every evil altar that have been erected, break. Let it catch on fire. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. We use the word of God. Jeremiah chapter 23, 29. We release. We release. We release the word of God to break into pieces. Every evil altar that have been erected. Catch on fire. Break. Break. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to this. Gideon was told. God told Gideon. Say, Gideon. Dismantle the altar in your father's house. Some of us are from different lineages. And our fathers have, they have altars. Some of, some of us, our parents, they're still going, going to those evil deities. Still holding on to those evil deities. And they're putting libation. Listen to me. I said they're putting libation. And perpetrating evil. Whether you live in a community in Africa, in Europe, in America, in Australia, in the Middle East, whatever place you find yourself, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today, today, I dismantle, I scatter, I dismantle, I scatter, I dismantle, I scatter by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Every altar with my name written on it. Pray this prayer like you mean it. Every altar with my name written on it, let that altar catch on fire. Let that altar catch on fire. Let it burn in the name of Jesus. Burn in the physical. Burn in the spiritual. Burn in the physical. Burn in the physical. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in a... In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, your word will go and accomplish its purpose. Today we release the word of God. Jeremiah chapter 23, 29. Father, let your word that is a fire burn, 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 burn. Every evil water, everywhere the gossipers gank up, everywhere the liars and the witches gank up, we release fire. We release fire. Water from your mother's village. Water from your father's village. Water from your wife. Water from your husband. Water from past relationship. Say, I release fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
pray like you mean it. So I release fire. My house shall be a no-go zone. Pray that prayer. Say, my house shall be a no-go zone for witches and witchcrafts, for unamanders and gossipers and liars and half-steppers. My house, my children's room, my children's place shall not be a playground for the enemies. In the name of Jesus, we release fire. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, fire. In the night when they show up, fire. In the morning, fire. In the evening, fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. For you said, my words are like fire, declares the Lord. My words are like fire, declares the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, the God of Elijah. Elijah called down fire. Today we call down fire. Consuming fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire, fire, fire. In their camp, fire. Everywhere they gank up fire. Everywhere the gang of fire, we release fire in their camp fire, in the morning fire, in the name fire, in the night fire. Thank you, Jesus. Pray like you mean it. He said, My words are like hammer that break the rock into pieces. My words are like hammer that break the rock into pieces. Every chain, power lock, every cover that listen, listen to this. Someone told me in a story once that a woman said she took the whole family, oh, the whole family, nieces, nephew, everybody, she locked them up in a trunk. Nobody can make any move. People want to make progress. They're stuck. Nothing happening for them. But that auntie was in the family. We pray today. He said, my words are like hammer that break the rock into pieces. Say, Father, anywhere they took my name and lock it up, anywhere they took my destiny, destiny hijackers, to lock it up, to lock my children up, in the mighty name of Jesus, say, I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it. Now watch this. In the case of Peter, while he was locked up in jail, the Bible said God sent an angel to open the prison door. The lock broke, the door opened. Today, in the name of Jesus, every door that has been shut, lock with evil lock, we pass it open. In the name of Jesus, we pass it open. We pass it open. We are coming out of that prison. We are coming out of their demon prison, evil prison, witchcraft prison. We are coming out. Our children are coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray like a minute. Say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out of their evil prison. I bust open. I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out right now. I'm coming out right now in the name of Jesus. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of their evil prison. They cannot hold me hostage. coming out yes yes that's it I'm coming out yes yes some of you are feeling some something coming over you right now yes in the name of Jesus I'm coming out I'm coming out enough is enough I'm coming out of stagnation economic stagnation I'm coming out of this the situation of no status in the name of Jesus God I'm coming out you will grant me a status you will change my nomenclature you will change my location I'm coming out of set setback in the mighty name of Jesus now watch this the Bible says, when Peter and the angel approach the gate the city gate they open Nobody touch it, the gate open. Nobody touch the gate, it open. Today, Lord, open the gate. Open the door. Open the door for prophet comments to go to the nations of the world. Open the door for that 10,000 kilowatt transmitter to come. Open the door for this ministry to, to reach to the unreached in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the doors for destiny airports to enter, to buy us and purchase that transmitter, to establish a Christian radio and television station in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the doors, Jesus. Open the doors, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Something just crossed my mind. Some of you, 
We climb bikes in the swas. Find a seed. Go, find a seed. I said, today I'm giving. This three days. Now watch this. The Bible said, on the third day, he arose. On the third day, and we climb bikes in today, this day number one, three. On the third day, he arose. Ascended into heaven. He's seated at the right hand of God the Father. He is the mediator. Has not changed and will never change. So the city gate opened. Peter and the angel, nobody touched it. It opened. Every door that was shut opened in the name of Jesus. Every door that was closed opened. We are coming out. In the name of Jesus, whether they want to see us or not, whether they want to hear us or not, we're coming out. Somebody say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out, prophet comes. I'm coming out. In the name of Jesus, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses, he's bringing me out. Hmm. Say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. How many of you believe that you're coming out? You're coming out of economic stagnation. You're coming out of setback. In the name of Jesus. Today is day number three. The fast end today. No rush. We came to pray. I say after today, some of them will see you and will wonder how you got over. Hmm. Hmm. The chain loose. The prison door open. Are you ready for this? Go with me. Let's take this next prayer point. Nehemiah chapter five, chapter one, rather, chapter one, verse fifteen says, "And it came to pass. Watch this. And it came to pass when our enemies heard it was known unto us." And God brought their plan, their evil plan. <laughs> Let's go back. I want you to watch this. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. That's the place I want us to stop. And it came to pass. When our enemies heard it was made known. Unto us, their counsel, their evil counsel, their foolish counsel. Say, it shall be made known unto me. It shall be made known unto us. It was known unto us. And God brought their counsel. Their foolish counsel that we all return, watch this, that we all return to the world to do the things that we were doing. They think Prophet Cummings will not come back on Facebook. They were ganking up. They were ganking up and saying, Sister, that sister will not return to work. She will have no job. We will plot. The Bible say, and it came to pass. It was made known when the enemies heard that it was made known unto us. It was made known to us. We heard about it. God revealed their plan and revealed the plot. Say, Father, reveal, 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 reveal their evil plot. In Jeremiah chapter 33, he said, Call on me. And I will answer you, and I will tell you great and why mighty things. Hmm. Some of you are not going down there to give. You're doing all this 10,000 amen. You will give today. Hmm? Today you will give. I see some of you somewhere. You'll go to places. You'll be giving. I know the people who can give to cash up. I know them. But I know where they can give. They can give here. And they support this work. Hmm? 
it was made known unto us. Your plot, your evil deed. It was made known. This is what they do. They sit down. They were plotting against Nehemiah and the people. Nehemiah went to rebuild the walls, the broken walls of Jerusalem. They gang up against him. You try to open a business in the community, they gang up against you. You try to establish something for people in the community to benefit from it, they gang up against you. You try to establish a church, they gang up against you. They start to plot against you. All they want is for you to go down. That's all they want. So that you can go down. So that what you want to do, nothing will come out of it. But the Bible says, And it came to pass, when our enemies heard, it was made known to us. How God brought their foolish plot. Or oh, God revealed their plot. And, and Nehemiah said, and we all returned to the war. They returned to the broken walls to rebuild. You will do those things that God called you to do. You will do it. Nobody can stop us. Say, nobody can stop me in the name of Jesus. You will do it. God will give you status. God will open doors and make way where there seems to be no way. I say you will do it. And you swear, then in Dumu. Then in Dumu, we do Taba Brepo. Then in Dumu, you swear. And you swear. Tejibwa, when you swear. Pian Pian, you swear. More time is a Gideon. Then in Dumu, you swear. Their evil plans. Their evil deeds will be made known unto us. And we will return to those things that we love to do. And that's what I'm doing. Like it or not. Whether you give me one million dollars or not, I'm doing this. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. It was made known unto us. It came to pass. And it will come to pass. Every evil that they're plotting against you. God will reveal it to you. He will make it known unto you. In the name of Jesus. He will reveal it. Their foolish plan. The things that they are saying. They are ganking up against you. It will not come to pass. Can I have some amens here? I say it will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. Pray. It will not come to pass. Hallelujah. It will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. God will reveal it to us. Their evil deeds. Their evil deeds. God will reveal it. Anybody planning to eat your money, steal your money, or do something to you, God will reveal it. Their plot will not work. In the name of Jesus. Anybody standing, or those who've been standing, Look, I'm speaking from reality. I saw the thing, and that's what I'm saying it. I've seen it. I'm saying it. God will reveal their evil plot. As a matter of fact, they're about to pack their stuff and run away from you. So let them run. Let them run. When they see me, let them be like the Philistines running from me. When they see me, let them see. Run. Everywhere they see or they hear your name or hear your children name, run in the mighty name of Jesus. With their evil motive, God will reveal their plot. He will unhife it in the mighty name of Jesus. I say he will unhife their plot 
when they see you, they'll see fire. Say, Lord, make me a fire. Make me, make me a fire. That when the enemies see me, let them run in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them run. Run. They will run like the Philistines. In First Samuel chapter 17, they ran away. When the champion was defeated and they noticed that David cut the head of Goliath, the Philistines were running. So our modern day Philistines in our lives, they will run because God will cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. He will cut them off in the name of Jesus. Say it will come to pass. It shall come to pass. Hmm. The evil deed, enough is enough. God will reveal it to us. Will destroy, dismantle their plans in the name of Jesus. One minute to, to show time. One minute to show time. Get ready. We end the fast at one o'clock today. Okay, because I was here 12 midnight, I mean 11 to 12 or to 1 a.m. this morning. So, we need to rest a little bit. And then, uh, we need to raise some money to put the, put the entire system back on uh, before it shut down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, three days, you have... How many of you are enjoying yourself? Three days. We've been having some wonderful time here. Three days. Amen. <laughs> some things. It's not by magic. Jesus said. These things happen by fasting and praying. Amen. <laughs> by fasting and praying. So sharp one o'clock, get your bottle of water. I got mine. I hope you have yours. Amen. Amen. Pray. Now it's your time to pray. Pray. Say, let it come to pass. Enough is enough. Let it be made known to me, Lord. Their evil deed, their evil plot. Enough is enough. You're tired now. You go to work, people gang up against you. You're in the community, they gang up against you. You try to do something constructive, it's some people just sit down. They got this to balance and some balance spirit. To balance and some balance spirit. They don't want to see nothing good. Their family members. Government officials, presidents, politicians with that to balance spirit, to balance and some balance spirit. They don't want to see anything good. We're still praying. We're still praying. Hallelujah. We're still praying. These are deep revelation. You have to pray for God to open your eyes to see some of these things. Pray. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my ears. Open my eyes. I want to know who is Prophet Cummings. I want to know who is this Pastor Cummings. Morning and evening, the guy just on Facebook. Open my eyes. I want to know Pastor Cummings. I want to see <laughs> who is this man of God. I got this big cash app <laughs> and Zell info sitting right in front of us. <laughs> Open my eyes. Open my ears. Praying. The Bible says, and the prophet prayed, and God opened the eyes of his seven. And what he saw, he was amazed. Open your eyes, God, to open your eyes. 
some of you quit to run. Fake, fake, fake. Nothing fake here. Scripture. Nothing fake. No voodoo. No juju. Nothing. I vow not to temper around those things. When I know the power of God, I don't have time to waste. That's why I'm not interested in numbers. I'm interested in real people. Hmm? Real people. And I'm talking to real people. Hallelujah. Go with me to the book of Daniel chapter 6. Let's raise one more prayer point here. Daniel chapter 6. Say, Lord, the hole that they are digging for me, let them fall into it. The hole that the enemies are digging for me, let them fall into it. Every trap they set for me, every well they dug for me, every evil weed here, evil crutch here, evil king, evil uh, table that they have set for me, let them be their own victim in the mighty name of Jesus. Now watch this. In Daniel chapter 6, the Bible say, when they brought Daniel out of the lion's den, on harm, on touch. The king gave command that the very people who took Daniel complaint must replace Daniel in the lion's den. Today, may the may the enemy <laughs> be placed in the lion's den. Hallelujah. Hmm? Let them replace me. Those who are digging hole for you to go down. Going to voodoo priests, Malabu priests, going to all kind of people. Let them replace me in their own evil trap. Let them replace me as the enemy of Daniel replaced Daniel in the lion's den. So shall they replace me. Hmm? Pray like you mean it. Let them replace me. That will they are digging, that hole they are digging, they will fall into it themselves. Let them fall into their own trap. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Pray like you mean it. Let them fall into their own trap. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them fall into their own trap. In the name of Jesus. Let them fall into their own trap. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them fall into their own trap. Hmm? Let them fall into it. They hold the dark. Let them fall into it. They don't want you to sleep. The child that said, Mama, don't go sleep, that child said, will not sleep. Let them fall into their own pit, in their own hole. They wanted Daniel to go down. Instead of Daniel going down, they went down. The Bible says, before they, they, their bodies could touch the ground, the lion threw them into pieces, ground their bone in the air. So they were in the air, the lion started eating them in the air. The lion was eating them in the air. Okay. <laughs> I say, Auntie Jackie, you want God to open your eye? For you, you have seen it already. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Lord, let my enemies replace me. That hole that they're digging for me, let them fall into it. Let them fall into it. Let them fall into it. In the name of Jesus. Ooh. Let them fall into it. Now we're going to pray for this ministry, right? We're going to pray for this ministry. That God will use this ministry. Will use this network for soul winning. Let it not be about Pastor Cummings, but God will open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. All of you that love God and love this ministry, I want you to open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray for this ministry. Pray, pray, 
pray, pray. Because if it wasn't for God, I won't even be here to stand up. I don't even know where I got the strength from today to still be standing up here. To be standing up here. I went to bed very late. But I made it my business to come so that we can climax this fast. Hmm? Hallelujah. So that we can climax this time of prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray for this ministry. Pray and say, God, open the doors. Open the doors. Pray for the pastor. Pray for the pastor that the Lord will give me the strength to continue to do what we do daily in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. I say, give me the strength. Father, give us the strength. Give us wisdom and understanding to do your work, O oh God. To do your kingdom business. Give us the strength. Pray. Pray. How many of you are praying? How many of you are praying? Pray. So, Father, we pray for the man of God. We pray for his son, his daughter. We pray for his family. Pray. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Pray. Thank you, Jesus. Pray. In the name of Jesus, pray. 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 How many of you are praying? How many of you are praying for this ministry and praying for the man of God? It takes money to tell the vision. Praying. Pray that God will give me the strength. Pray that God will use this medium to bless his people. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. In the name of Jesus. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Go down on your knees. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Raman Christian Radio and TV. We pray it, oh God, that you will give us the strength. You will use this medium for soul winning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we go down on our knees, as we prostrate ourselves before you, we pray that Jesus, you will use this medium. You will bless your people. You will touch them. Healing and deliverance will take place through this medium. Father, we come against the plot, the works of enemies against us, O oh God, against our partners. We pray for the partners of this ministry, O oh God. We pray that you will strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will answer their prayer request in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Pray, 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 my people, pray, pray, pray for this ministry. Pray it in the name of Jesus, my God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer. Pray, somebody pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for your people. We pray it, oh God, for your people. We pray it, oh God, for your people. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my King, my Maker and my Redeemer, we pray it, O God, in the name of Jesus. Make way where there seems to be no way. Open every door, open every avenue, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we say thank you. Jehovah God, we say thank you. Wonderful King of Kings, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Father God, we thank you. Wonderful King of Kings, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody pray. Pray, 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 pray like you mean it. Pray like you mean it. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we say thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. So I want to, <laughs> while you guys were praying, I was already trying to get all the prayer requests because I purposely planned.
to bring all the prayer requests that came here some month back to pray over them. <sighs> to pray it over them. That God will do something awesome, something great, something wonderful in our lives. In the name of Jesus. That God, all these prayer requests that have been written and sent. Some people wrote, some people send theirs by email. And you know their heart desire. You know what they need, Lord. Today, as I lay my hand on this prayer request, Father, in the name of Jesus, those who need status, grant them status. Those who need a change in their life, grant them change in their life. Those who are trusting in you for healing, open doors. Some are scheduled for tests. May they pass their tests. Some are scheduled for open, uh, uh, um, they schedule for a job. Open that door. Some are praying for their children. Make way where there seems to be no way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, today, let every prayer request that have entered this building, that have entered this building, you will remember your people, you will bless them, you will make way where there seems to be no way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So if you wrote yours, if you send yours, remember this. I have it. And every time I pray, this is something I usually do. I go to visit all the prayer requests. I go there and lay my hands on the, at one point of the time, let me tell you one secret. Some of you, let me share something with you, a quick testimony. So I was facing a legal battle and I was trusting and believing in God. And I told a good friend of mine, I said, listen, I want you to keep me in your prayers. And my mom came to visit me and she saw all the papers including your prayer requests and everything. And I said, God, if it happened that this case, you superimpose your weight on this case, then I would take all the prayer requests from in the dining room. So I had them on my dining room table. I never used to eat to the dining room table. I had all the people walk that were coming from lawyer, coming from immigration, I had them part of them, including the prayer requests. Every time I come from work, I open the door, I will stand and speak a word. Stand, speak a word. When we're praying, I open the door and I'm looking at them. And I said to God, I will not move these papers from here until something happened. Miraculously, the answer came. Bible says life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Some of you, something happened, you get so negative. Some something happened, you get so negative. Change your concept. Change your mentality. Change the way you perceive things. You cannot be praying here and we'll be having doubt. No way. If it was that, I won't even be here today. Those who are closer to me know the story. I've shared the testimony. I can't talk it over and over and over and over. Sometimes I say it because there are some people who go into some stuff and they think God oh, cannot do it. And God did it. God did it. And I know He would do the rest. What he did for me, he will do for somebody. He did it for me so people can know that I serve a real God. He did it so that people, so that he can take the glory, not me. Whew. Hallelujah. We got a few more minutes to go. A few more minutes to go. Get your bottle of water. Get your bottle of water instead of three or climb mics. Get your bottle of water. Pastor, I need to catch this rest. Hmm? Get your bottle of water. If you have it, say I have it. 
If you have it, say I have it. You know, we've been doing some serious fast back to back for almost five months. It's just been fasting, praying, fasting, praying. Traveling to pray with my partners. It's been fast, fast. Praying because Jesus said these things happen through fasting and praying. Yeah, that's what he said. fasting and praying. By fasting and praying. From the day I gone, the shocking news, I said, me and Jesus got this thing going on. So I went to him. I said, Father, this is me. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Right now, I'm looking for almost eight, seven thousand dollars. The lawyers who fought my case to pay them. Where I'm going to get that money from? When they go, no. So if I was praying for people for money, I think I was going to get that money because people come, they get pregnant. People come, they give birth. People come, they walk out of immigration trouble. And God has been doing a whole lot. I'm so grateful to God be the glory. But thank God I was not praying for money. Thank God for some of my friends who started the process, who were giving 500 year, 500 days, a thousand out of here, a days there. Pastor, go do this. Go do that. Thank you. And I know that God will bless you. So don't have no doubt that after these three days, the Lord will trouble the water. Even while we are going through it, he's troubling the water. It's a shaking taking place. He's changing things. He's turning things around. For five months. That's why I was contemplating on whether we can do the 21 right after this because I need to gain, you know, get myself in shape a little bit, get some strength. Because it has been five months back to back, back to back. When I start one, I end one. I pick up another one, back to back, fasting and praying. If you can't do it for a whole month or a whole week, at least set aside a day. I have a friend of mine, she told me, she said, every Friday is my day. And since I've been knowing them, Friday have been their day. You got to take up one day to fast. If it is from 6 to 12, do it. Get your prayer request and say, Lord, I set aside this time dedicated to communicate with you to tell you my problem. All the people that say they have a bottle of water, $100. before I pray. Oh, God. Jesus, I'm just joking. Oh. Yeah, $100 before I pray. I come. Hmm? All of you that have a bottle of water, I say I have a bottle of water. Let me see. $100. Oh, a good friend of mine was in Nice, right? So some prophets came from somewhere to England. And she went there. And they said, before they pray for her, they were acting the lawyers now. Before they pray for her, $5,000. They took a C of $5,000 from this woman. $5,000. A C of $5,000. Before they pray for her. Hmm? So she met me and we were talking. 
And she told me she gave a seed of $5,000. If I let me pray for her. So I told her, I said, get ready. She said, Pastor, I said, get ready. A year later, she got married. And she's well to do. Got businesses, trucking, and this, that. Ask me, did she give you one dollar? The answer is no. She said, well, man, I've gone tired. I say, you tired? She said, yeah. I say, you tired? She said, yeah. I say, get ready. It's going to happen. The following year, the woman got married. $5,000. So I'm asking you to give me $100. And enter Hawaii. You say, okay. All right. So I'm not praying. I'm Give me, I want $900 right now. <laughs> huh? I didn't have to pray hard. I just told her, I said, you ready? She said, I say you tired? She said, yeah. I said, get ready. A lady, somebody in Minnesota, I was preaching one day. And the Lord told me the message was for her. I called her. I said, you, you are pregnant. You're carrying a baby. She didn't believe it. She went to Walmart to test, buy something, went in the bathroom to test herself. She came to me crying, said, Pastor, I'm pregnant. After seven years of trusting and believing in God. But before that test took place, I was in the church praying. And I asked the people to come so I can pray for them. And she was among the people that was standing. I asked her, I said, you want baby? She started crying. I said, God will bless you. Few weeks later, the woman got pregnant. Today, she have a boy child. I mean, I think a girl child, right? Ask me if they give me one million dollar. The answer is no. No, no money. But I pray. I call on God. I lift up my eyes onto the hills. This thing is not magic. It's no voodoo. It's not juju. You don't need chant for it. Jesus said, these things happen by fasting and praying, being committed, being sincere in what you do. Grab your bottle of water. Grab a cup of water, a glass. Mm. I got my, I'm going put in my hundred dollars here. I'm looking at all of you. Everybody that writing here, I, I have it. I have it. You owe me hundred dollars. So when I come into Minnesota tomorrow, all the people here, Boston, Ente Pressure, Ente Hawa, Ente Jackie. When I go to what they call the place, Canada, Mother Delu, you owe me hundred dollars. Hmm. Philadelphia, says roof, you owe me hundred dollars. Madam Dennis, you owe me hundred dollars. Hmm? What are you? You're old. I'll put your name on blast. I will get my hundred dollars. If the payment, no payment arrangement. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. No payment arrangement. Everybody paying. No pledge. No pledge. You pay cash. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Eh? No payment arrangement. No set pay. No payment arrangement. Everybody paying cash. Lift up your water. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this su a successful three days. We thank you, Father. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We thank you for stirring the water. We thank you for troubling the water. As we drink, oh God, we speak healing in the bone, the marrow, the joint, the kidney, the lungs, the tissue. Father, let people pick up their telephone and call us and testify concerning your goodness, concerning your wonders, concerning your miraculous power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, turn this water into a supernatural water. Let it represent the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, man, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you all 
for taking your time to be a part of the fast. It was worthy. It was awesome. It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was powerful. It was inspirational. He was worthy to do this. So as it relates to the 21 days, um, we're going to put it on hold a little bit because I've been given an instruction to do some things. So I have to make some run. So I may not be in a position to start. We're praying to God for the strength and the time. If we don't do it, we'll still come on here and be praying for our family. Prepare. We'll come here and be praying for our family. You can tell I'm tired, right? We'll come here and be praying for our family. But I want to tell you, thank you, man. I thank you so much, all of you, for being obedient for us to hacking onto the voice of Jehovah God and walking obedient. It's, it's been a long journey, especially we're doing four times, you know, six, nine, twelve, three. Man, after after day day one, day one I was in that move. Day two, who? Day two when I got through three o'clock, by three hours, I ran to the kitchen to cook. I look at the pot for a long time. I said, "No way, I can't do it. I'm tired. I'm tired." I ran in the room, jump on the bed, and when I got him. I broke my fast. I broke my fast. I think by 10 p.m. because I was tired. Then last night, I woke up by 11, 12. I got on it until almost two o'clock. So I want to tell all of you, thank you so much. We give God the glory for the strength to do this. Yeah, there you go. The 11:59 God show up. It's 12.59. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. But um, let, let's go. Go ahead and drink your water. Just break the fast. We're not going up to 3 because at 3 o'clock I will not be available. I won't be here. I won't have the time. So that's why we, we're breaking at 1. My God, thank you for your healing power. Mm. I feel like drinking three more bottles of water, then I'll be okay. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And you know the interesting thing, sometimes when I get done with this, I feel like going back. That's the, my, my body has gotten so used to doing it. The mind has gotten so used to doing it. And I would do it often as well. But we thank God. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together to pray. Father, we know from this will come greater blessing for your people. We know that you will open the doors and you will make way where there seems to be no way. We know that you will trouble the waters. Sicknesses and diseases will leave. Father, you will do something great and something wonderful in our lives. We just want to tell you thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.